Free McBoot. So what exactly is Free McBoot? Well, Free McBoot uh, is a way that you can make your PS2 memory card exploitable. Uh, it pretty much, once you have this so-called mod on your uh, memory card, it allows you to install homebrew applications or programs um, and also emulators. Uh, allows you to uh, boot up backup games whether they're on your DVD or your your USB hard drive or even through your network. Um, the emulators you, you, uh, I was talking about uh, you can install the NES, Super NES, uh, Sega, TurboGrafx-16, you name it, uh, Atari. Um, but yeah, uh, anybody who has a PS2 uh, you should really look into doing this. It's really well worth it. It really is. I mean, it, it allows you, you, you can even play movies off your USB hard drive if you want. But, uh, yeah, it, it's a really, it's a really cool exploit. You need to check it out. Uh, there's this one guy you need to check out also. Uh, he, he goes over the same thing that I'm, I'm about to go over with you with. Uh, his name is uh, Audrey. Uh, H A L D R I E. He's a really cool guy. He's really a PS2 know it all. He really knows this stuff about the PS2. So I'll have his link in the description so you can check his out in case I missed anything. But uh, I've been using a action replay disc. Uh, you can use Code Breaker uh, or Game Shark to do this. Any, any means of. Uh, of being able to copy a file from your memory card onto your flash drive will work. Uh, now you do, if I don't, if you don't have Free McBoot, uh, then a backup disk right here will not work. I'm doing this for the sake of this tutorial only. Uh, for those who, those of you who do have the original disk, just still just follow my instructions uh, in this video, and you'll be just fine. But if I ever lost Free McBoot, I would never be able to use this to to install Free McBoot back on my memory card. So uh, that's that. Uh, I guess we're ready to go on over to the uh, PS2 and we get started with that. So uh, I'll meet you there. Alright guys, so the things that you're going to need, of course, you're going to need a PS2, the fat PS2, uh, a uh, memory card, 8 megabytes, 16 megabytes, it don't matter, uh, a flash drive, I've got a 2 gig flash drive here, it don't have to be that big, but uh, that's what I got, and your action replay uh, disc. Um, now those of you, like I said, who don't have Free McBoot, you, you have to have the original disc. You can't use a backup disc like I have here. You gotta have the actual disc. Code Breaker, Game Shark, Action Replay, or whatever. Um, so that's it. Now, uh, as for me, since I'm using a uh, backup, I've gotta use my uh, modded, uh, exploited memory card right here so that I can boot this up, okay? But uh, that, that, that's it, um, that's all the things you need. So now we can get started here, uh, going to the next steps. All right guys, now once you've got your memory card installed and also your flash drive installed, you can go ahead and boot up your system Once it boots up, I go into the browser and I'll show you that this is a, a new memory card. It has no data whatsoever on it. As you can see, no data. Uh, but, we, what we, but what we need to do, we need to create a file. It's called a system, uh, your system configuration file. That's the, that's the uh, file that we're gonna need and we're going to have to modify that file. So, how to get that file on there is you just simply just load up a regular just uh, P, 
PlayStation 2 game. That's all you gotta do. I got Mega Man X7 here that I'm gonna load up. And uh, go ahead and open the tray up and load her up. <clears throat> this process is uh, really simple, guys. It's not. It's not really hard at all, really. Maybe a little tricky on the computer part, but it's not too bad. PlayStation. Let it, uh, the game boot on up to the uh, title screen. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to stop it right here. I'll go ahead and take it out. That should have created the file that we need on our uh, memory card. We do, we'll simply just, uh, Restart it. We'll go to our browser. Open it up. And there's our file, guys. As you can see at the uh, top right hand corner, your system configuration. That is the file that we're going to pull off our memory card onto our flash drive. And then from there, we're going to put it on the computer and modify it uh, to create an exploit. So, that being said, uh, what we're going to do now, I'm going to cut this off for a second. I'm going to install my uh, Freemic Boot memory card. You guys won't have to do that if you have the original disc, but since I have the, burnt, uh, the backup uh, burnt disc, uh, i I got to install my... Uh, Premic boot. So, uh, let's see. Okay. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to start it up. I'm going to load up my action replay real quick. Let it boot into the uh, ESR. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and start it up. It takes a minute or two to load this dog on disc up. I tell you what. All right. First thing start. We're gonna we're gonna scroll on over to our max memory, and we're gonna hit our X button. And this is gonna take a minute also. I hope I got enough memory on my phone to do this. <clears throat> I had like three gigs on my memory card, but I hope that's enough. <clears throat> Okay, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to go to My Devices. Now what we're going to do, we're going to move our file from the, uh, I've got my new memory card in slot number one. So we're going to highlight that as being the primary device. So we're going to go here and 
we're going to hit X to check your system configuration just like that right there then you're going to hit right on your d-pad and you're just going to simply scroll over to your flash drive to copy that that particular file onto your flash drive you hit yes Alright, and that, that's it guys, uh, that's it for this part, uh, we're ready to go to the computer now and uh, do a little more magic, alright, so here we go, I'll go ahead and shut this off, well let me take my, let me take my disc out, alright, so we'll, we'll shut this down. Alright guys, for the next part of this video, you're basic, basically going to need six things. Uh, first of which, you're going to need your flash drive with your file on it that you had extracted from your memory card. So you're going to need that. Any PS1 game, uh, I've chosen Blaster Master uh, simply because I'm a big Blaster Master fan. So I've decided to use this for my exploit, but you can pick whatever PS1 game you want to. You're going to need that. Uh, now if you would come over here to the uh, computer with me. Uh, I've got four files here uh, that you're going to have to download. Uh, you have your Ulaunch L4.42, uh, a PS2 save builder, a newbie package, and a program called Independence Compiler 4.1. All these will be under the description, guys. Uh, so no worries about that. Uh, I actually have them pulled up on Google right now. Uh, the newbie package you'll be getting from uh, the ISO zone. You simply come down here and click this tab to download it. Uh, your PS2 save builders also coming from the ISO zone. Uh, you just come down here, click this tab to download it. Your U-Launch L4.42, come down here, click on this right here to download the zip file for that. And lastly, your Independence Compiler 4.1, you'll come down here and just simply just click this link right here to download it. And that's it, you're all set. Uh, now right here, this is the guy that I was talking about earlier, uh, his name's Audrey. And uh, he is uh, he is all PS2. I mean, he knows everything about a PS2. It seems like I mean that's no joke. Uh, but uh, I'll have his I'll have his link under the description so you can watch his videos if you want to. I really recommend it. Uh, he's uh, who I learned from, and he really he really goes over it pretty well. I mean, I was surprised. So uh, yeah. Um, He's, he's answered all my questions, uh, no problem. Uh, so, yeah, definitely check him out. I mean, you may have a, an issue or, or a problem that I didn't go over with you on this video. He might, he might have. So, uh, yeah, check him out. <clears throat> so, to begin with, we're, I'm going to uh, go ahead and install my flash drive here. All right. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna cut this file out and we're gonna paste it onto our desktop like so. Now, guys, I really strongly recommend that you make a copy of this file uh, simply because something something uh, very bad might go wrong <laughs> with this exploit. I just simply create a folder and call it PS2. <clears throat> and what I do, I just copy it and uh, paste it right in there like that. <clears throat> just in case something dras drastically goes wrong. <laughs> so, uh, minimize this. 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, extract all of these files, guys. This newbie package uh, file right here, which contains all of our necessary files uh, for our exploit, uh, we're going to uh, pretty much cut and paste onto our flash drive here. Alrighty. Now that now that's taken care of. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna open up our independence compiler 4.1. Alrighty. Now if you guys uh, take a look, uh, see this title DB, you wanna you wanna click on it. And this is where our PS1 game's gonna come in handy. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and load it up on onto our system here. Basically what we're doing, we're going to get the game ID from this CD. Now if you already know the game ID, you can simply uh, uh, type it in right here, but I like to get it straight from the CD, that way it is, it's correct. Uh, go right here, select which drive it's in. See this tab here, which says uh, "Get ID, f Get ID from CD." Click on it, and it should highlight it right there. Okay, it should bring it up. Now, what we want to do, right below, it's got another tab that says "Add to uh, Title DB." Click that, and it should show up over here. Lastly, save Title DB. Okay, so we want to save it. Uh, I'm gonna save it to the desktop. There it is right there. All right, I'm gonna bring it over here in the center so y'all can see. So we're done with that. Uh, the next step is uh, we're going to open up our ulaunch elf folder. And there's two files that we're gonna grab up out of here. And that's the uh, boot.elf and the uh, launchelf.cnf file. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna copy those and we're simply going to paste them outside here, just like that. All right. Now the next step, we're going to open up our uh, PS2 Save Builder here, and we're simply going to open this file up into this program. So we're going to go to File, go to Open, and then we're going to scroll down. There's our file there. Click on it. And there's the two files within that file. Okay. This title DB that we had created and these two files here that we extracted from the uh, ulaunch folder, we're going to highlight those and we're simply going to drag and drop these three files into this program. Okay. The last thing we have to do is go to save. And where are we going to save it to? We're going to save it to our flash drive. Right here. I'm going to go to save. <clears throat> and guys, that should, that should be all we need to do. Okay, so we got our newbie package. We got all the necessary files to uh, uh, for our exploit, and we also have our file here. As you can see, it has increased in size considerably, which is a good thing too. So uh, now we're ready to go up to our PS2, and I'll meet you guys up there. Okay guys, this is the last step. I'm going to go into our memory card here and I'm going to show you that uh, there is no data whatsoever on it, as you can see. Because remember we, uh, we pulled the data off of it. That file off of it. So, now with a clean memory card, what we're going to do, I'm going to install my flash drive and we're going to install uh, we're going to load up Action Replay Max. Okay. 
I'll go ahead and I'll put the action replay max in the in the drive here. I'll install my flash drive. And here we go. We'll go ahead and put that uh file back onto our memory card. So you guys this is not really that hard to do. It it really isn't. Uh this up but yeah guys uh, this definitely beats uh, the way that I had to uh, load up Freeman boot on mine I had to do a lot of disk swapping I had to create a cog swap disk a, a U launch Elf disc and all this other junk. This is a whole lot simpler. Okay, what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to our max memory. Yeah, I'm gonna really try to find the original uh, Action Replay Max disc. I'm really gonna try to look for that, or like a code breaker or something. Because if I ever lose free McBoots in, in some way, oh man, that'd make it a whole lot easier. Okay, so we're going to go to my devices. Uh, this time our primary device uh, will be our, our flash drive. What we're going to do, we're going to hit X to check. Now, instead of copying it over to our our memory card, what we have to do, we have to scroll down here to uncrush. Now, I guess whatever, uh, when it copied it over to our flash drive, it compressed the file. Now, they want you to uncrush it or uncompress the file back onto the memory card. So, that's pretty much what we're going to do here. So, uh, my memory card is in slot one, and we're going to uncrush it. To MC MC1. I can see at the top it says it's reading, and about halfway it'll start writing writing the file to the uh, memory card. <clears throat> and there we go, it's writing writing the file right now. And that is it. That's it guys. Uh, what I can do now, we can go ahead and take take our action replay disc back out. Okay. What we can do now, we can totally turn it off. I'm going to pull this out. We're going to start it back up. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to go back into the browser uh, and show you what's on the uh, memory card now. Okay. <clears throat> and there's our your, sis, your system configuration file. Uh, this is the modded one. This is, the, uh, this is our exploit. Uh, now as soon as we launch this disc right here, we'll be putting this disc in the PS2. Once it loads up, it should go right into the uh, U-Launch Elf. And I'll be showing you that. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and take this disc out. Okay. You can see, Blaster Master. I'm going to put this disc in. Make sure you got your flash drive in, in the PS2 because it, it contains the newbie package which contains all the files uh, 
needed uh, to install the Freemic boot. So we're gonna, <clears throat> we're gonna install this. I mean, well, we're gonna boot the game up. And what you should see, it should go to a white screen and then boot right into Ulaunch Elf. There's our white screen. And there you go, guys. Uh, this is Ulaunch Elf. This will allow you to uh, boot up any program you want to. So you hit the uh, O button to file the browser. Go down to Mass. There's our newbie package and our file there. We want to go into the newbie package. Uh, scroll down to where it says freemicboot.elf. And what you want to do is hit the O button to boot it up. All right. Now that we, okay, this is our Freemic Boot program. Uh, you can choose at the very top, you've got normal install, multi version install, launch FMCB, FMCB configurator. You can format your memory card or uninstall the multi version. Uh, we're not, we're not going to worry about none of these here. Uh, I usually format the MC. This is the, the other one that I use, but, uh, I don't I don't do the normal install I do the multi version install that way that say your buddy's got a uh, different version PS PS2 uh, it can, that way it can also boot freemic boot up on that one also if you do the normal install then pretty much you're only gonna be able to boot up on your version of PS2 so just go with the multi version hit install and it mentions that this will install Freemic Boot multi version on memory card one. Continue and hit X button to continue. <clears throat> now as you can see it's writing all the uh, it's writing all the files onto your memory card. Once this is done, uh, you'll have a different uh, PS2 menu. Uh, it would involve, uh, you have the ESR uh, program, and uh, uh, I forget what other programs were on there, but I I'll show you as soon as this is done. <clears throat> I can go ahead and take this disc here out, my Blaster Master disc. Oh, and by the way, guys, uh, the Independence Compiler program, uh, what, when, I, when I put in the, uh, the game ID, you can actually put as many game IDs in as you, as you want. You can use uh, Blaster Master. Uh, you can put in other games. That way, you can, if, if you lose one game, you can use the other game to do the same exact thing. I forgot to mention that earlier. Okay, now uh, Freemic Boot is installed successfully on memory card. You hit OK, and now what you can do now, just turn it off. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to hook up my hard drive. I'm going to turn it on. Now you're going to see that we're going to have a totally different menu than than you otherwise would without Freemic Boot. And there you go guys, Freemic Boot. There you go. Here's that menu. Uh, system configuration. You have your Ulaunch Elf, ESR, the HD loader, the simple media system which you can play movies off your uh, hard drive or whatever. A launch disk reload configuration and free moot free meat boot configurator so what I'm gonna do uh, just to show you uh, you can go into your you launch elf hit the O button go down to mass you can go down to ps2 binaries and and here is the NES emulator which I'll show you how it works. And, uh, oh, hold on a minute, hold on, hold on a minute. Uh, 
Oh darn, hold on. Okay, what we want to do first is we want to center the screen. Okay, so you can center the screen this way, just like this. Okay? Just like that. All right, and now you can come down here Exit to there. You can actually come down to where your games are at. Eh, I'm having a little problem here. Uh, but say, uh, I think you know where I'm going with this. My fa one of my favorite games. Oh yeah. <laughs> But uh, there you go guys, uh, now you're able to run emulators, you can play backup games, or whatever you want to. So, uh, yeah. It works pretty good, it's, it runs at full, full speed. But uh, anyway, thanks, thanks guys for uh, tuning in. And uh, I'll see you guys on the uh, next video.